Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 45. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, we are here. This is going to be the final episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. And this, well, this is the Coastal Dream Race. This is a 103.6 mile event. One lap. But it goes in a circle. And it starts and finish in pretty much the same spot, I think. Uh, and the reward for this is a whopping 525,000 credits. If you go to the hard difficulty, it's 1.5 million. So, uh, quite a lot. And for this, we're going to be taking the Koenigsegg CC8S. And I haven't actually upgraded this, so I'm going to go and quickly upgrade it now. So, I'll be back in a minute. Right, here we go. We're at Koenigsegg. And we could go up to 263 miles an hour. Uh, top speed, 786 brake horsepower, and 3 seconds 0 to 60. Welp, we're putting it on. Let's do it. I think I'm also going to change the color of the car, so I will meet you all back at the race. All right, here we go. Our car is there at the back. It is the white Koenigsegg. I prefer the white to the black color, so uh, that is why we picked it. And this is going to be a very nice final race. Seven checkpoints. 9.4 miles to the first one. And we're starting off at the airport, which seems a very, very appropriate starting location, actually. So to start, you start your coastal dream journey from the airport. That's what most people would probably do, I guess. Let's do this. This is it, the final race. This is the final race. There's always that weird feeling. Does, it, does anyone else get this? I get a weird feeling. Like, almost like a butterfly is in my stomach, but like a very mild one. Whenever I come to like the final event in a race, because it's like, this is it. This is what all the past has been building up to. It's this one race. I mean, it's also been like training for trying to drive through all these sections and crap like that. But this is what it's all been leading up to, is this one big race. And it's a, over 100 miles. Our Koenigsegg is going to have 100 miles on its clock. It's going to be like 109, 110, something like that. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I had a lot. I made contact with like every single wall there. So uh, one problem with the Koenigsegg is the fact that the brakes are horrendous. They don't work. This is very good. It's going to be exciting as well to see what you actually unlock once you finish this race. Because this is it. This is actually it. And I double checked that I hadn't missed any events. But this... Fuck's sake. I missed corners. I have... This is definitely the last race. I don't know what, what's going to be after that. I don't know whether if you do this, you unlock more events. Because if you do this and get more events, then... Result. You've got more stuff to do. But if this is actually it... I'm going to be a little bit sad. Because, like... This game was a childhood game. And I, I can't 100% remember if I did actually 100% this game or not. But I know I definitely played it a lot. And played through it a lot. Very nice. Oh, no, not great. Here we go, back on track. All 
right, nice. Have we done the first checkpoint yet? No. Oh god, this is going to be long. I've got a drink because I know these long races sort of do tie you out a bit. And the fact that I can't pause the recording midway through. Well, I can, but like, I'd rather not because then it means a little bit more editing work. Not too much, but like, yeah. A little bit more. I didn't actually realize how quick you could finish these races. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That's the first checkpoint done. We got 9.6 miles to the next one now. It didn't really seem very coastal though. Are you sure this is going around the outside of the map? I genuinely don't know anymore. Look at those clouds though. Shit, I never even noticed the clouds in this game. They actually look like real clouds. Like they put effort in those clouds. Uh, they probably just took like a high quality picture to be honest. But... Shush. Don't judge the game. The game is good. It has been good to me. It's also very good to see there's no off-road penalties for this as well. Because uh, if there was, I would kill me. But uh, we are currently about 15% into the race now, I think. So uh, 10, 20, 30, easily 40 minutes this is going to take. wiggle on with the uh, Koenig's egg. Not wanting to go around corners, but managing to keep it under control. Fact is, we're going to get like checkpoints at like 20 miles between each other at some point in this race. I can guarantee you that. our top speed we can't actually hit it while we're taking corners because uh, this car is just crap at keeping its speed in the corner very nice not very nice where is this that is taking us now we're going to some part of we're going to an island Oh, I know where we're going. We're going to some, like, highway section now. It's like a really fast highway section. Somewhere across here. I have definitely driven this road before. I remember it. I like how the PlayStation can't display white. It's like something within the PlayStation. It physically cannot display bright white properly. It looks very creamy colored. No matter what game it is. Gran Turismo 4, the loading screens, they're not screens? Screens. They're not um, proper white either. That is very good. Are you joking? Two miles to the next checkpoint? That leaves us for four checkpoints, about 75 miles. Okay. That's what you want to do, game. Oh, God. No, we went in water. How? We went into the water. That was the most British way of saying it. Water. I don't normally say it like that. It's just like when I'm 
Hannah. Not thinking. I say my words as a slur. Just like, bleh. Makes no sense. Oh shit. 42 miles, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a long way. That's a long, long way. That's going to take us directly to the north of the map, I think. Alright, let's do this. 40 miles. Let's go. Foot to the floor. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, we would nearly get around that corner. Once this series is done, I get a couple of days off. Don't need to make any more videos then. So probably, I think next Monday, I might start again. Whoa. And I think that'll be Yakuza Kiwami. Very nice game, actually. I played a little bit of it to see if I wanted to uh, complete it as like a video series. Yes, I do, is the answer to that. I do totally want to do it. Nice. Awesome. 36 miles left to go. This is a very fun, quite a fun race actually. You just get to enjoy the map. This is like the final bit. Just like a reminder of everything that you've like gone through. All the races you've done, all the cool shit. It's just like, yeah, you've played all this and you've completed it all. Enjoy this lovely cruise. I think as well, the uh, AI is quite dialed back on these long races. So um, it's not even like a stressful race. It's just like, huh, nice. How do, how do you spin out on a corner like that? I slowed down enough for that. Unbelievable. The Koenigsegg is refusing to go around corners like normal. Like a normal car would. I also have just realised this is probably not the ideal car because it's not very good at corners. But who cares? It's a beautiful car to finish off this game with. We're getting loads of points for airtime, for jumps that aren't even really jumps. Awesome. 31.6 miles left to go. No, I thought cars, uh, I saw the jump and I thought we'd go over it. I thought it would be cool, it wasn't cool. We did do two spins though, but uh, the game doesn't count those as points. Which is not surprising for a game of this time because uh, normally they didn't add in any sort of extra stuff. Like if it didn't need to be there, they didn't add it. And that's what they did with this. They just didn't add it. They didn't need to be there. The 
I think as well, YouTube had just started when this game came out. So, it wasn't even like there was much need for it. There wasn't going to be like cinematic videos spread around the internet. Because you couldn't really upload videos back then anyways, before YouTube. Because it was just difficult. You would like have to download files and then watch them. And it was like, no. YouTube was like one of the first proper like public video streaming platforms. It was amazing. It still is amazing. What am I saying? It still is amazing. By the time we finish this checkpoint though, we'll be about 60% in. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. 27.4 miles. Just counting down. Time before. It's basically just a timer for the end of the video. And the end of the series. Wow. <laughs> How have I done that? Multiple times. But it is. In theory. It is just. I... I got a lot of things going through my mind right now. Jesus. It's very good. And these, these kind of games, they have more memories in them because I played them. And it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. That's not fun though, crashing into cars. This is very good though. And the soundtrack, yeah, oh, it's just amazing. Seriously though, if you guys are just coming to watch this, stop. And play, actually no, keep watching, but uh, once it's done, play this game, give it a try, because it is, it's a good game. There isn't much you can fault about it, you can't hate on it, there's nothing that is bad about this game, it's just a good game, it's a good complete package that you can watch and enjoy and play and enjoy yes it might take you a couple more attempts to do something if you're not as experienced with racing games as me but even then I managed to finish this game when I was what eight so uh I think most people should be able to play it nowadays nope Apparently, I still can't play it. <laughs> Twenty point nine miles are left to go. There is a massive problem with this car: is the fact that it doesn't want to turn. It is a very much speed-based machine, so trying to turn is an absolute nightmare. Like, this is me maximum turning. It has, like, that sort of handicap thing. Where it will slowly turn the wheel. I need to stop crashing, because this is going to look really low quality. I'm not redoing it, so if it's going to be, like, crash after crash, I'm going to have to put up with it. Brakes as well, rubbish. Do not work. But you can't be mad because you've got to enjoy the final race. So, yeah. I can't believe we're 18 minutes into it already and we've only done like 40 miles. Genuinely, this is going to be a massive race. It's going to be like half three before I finish. It's like three o'clock now.
Traffic cars trying to kill me. Check. Obscure posts that are in random positions on corners. Check. Perfect game. That was close. That was very lucky, actually. Look how early you had to slow down there. Like, genuinely, if I slowed down any later, I would have gone over the edge. I mean, there's a barrier there, so you wouldn't go over the edge. It wouldn't be pretty. If it was real life, you would have gone over the edge. You would have crashed and died, probably. Oh no! How have we done that? gone round a corner and gone on the other side of the barrier. Impressive. Can I get an award for that game? Achievements wasn't a thing on PS2, was it? That's gutted. Imagine if achievements was a thing on PlayStation 2. That would have been amazing. Nice. Go, 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 come on. Very nice. 12 miles left to go before the fourth checkpoint. We'll then have three more. Third one being the finish line. Oh, no, not great. Crashing again. We haven't crashed for a while, though, so... And crash twice in a row. Thanks. I swear this controller has a microphone. Is there anyone in there? Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. I don't even know where my opponents are, but they are so far behind. There's like no question of a doubt that we're going to win this. The fact is, for uh, Test Driver Limited 2, one of the episodes was us doing a mega race like this, but around Ibiza. And you have to take an A5 class vehicle. Or well, no, A6. You can take A7. No, A7 is the other race. The like 10 mile race. But for the entire one around the island of Ibiza, you have to take an A6 class car. And I picked the Subaru WRX STI. And it took 50 minutes to do like 50 miles. Because of how much slower that car is. I don't even think it was 50 miles. But it was a long race. This one is 100 miles, but we're doing it in a car that is capable of accelerating to 100 miles an hour in three seconds. So there's no problem on this car's part of being able to be quick. It's just my driving is terrible. I cannot drive for the life of me. I'm going to quickly, um, ah, no, 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 no. Whenever I talk, I always crash. I'm going to uh, quickly pause the game a second. I'll be back in a minute. 
Right, we are back. Here we go. Let's carry on. Had to have a little bit of a drink because uh, my mouth was dry. Oh! Okay, okay. Wasn't a great return after pausing the game. I was expecting maybe to be able to drive at least. Oh, God. 4.1 miles left before the checkpoint, though. That has taken so long to get here. It's ridiculous. Oh, no. Number one rule is if you're about to crash, do not keep your foot on the accelerator. I broke that rule then. There's still no cars coming to get me, though. So, um, I'm very much safe. I didn't know if that was a car then, actually. That had me worried. Very nice, though. Nice. Got about... 15 minutes probably left to go maybe a bit more how far is this next checkpoint though because if this next checkpoint is about 30 miles then the last two will be very short but uh, we've only got about oh shit we got less than I thought 75 so we've got about 30, 30 miles left 30 miles, 35. There we go, checkpoint. 21 miles. So the last two is going to be very short indeed. There'll be about 10 and 5, 10 and 8, something like that. Got a bit of lag going on at the moment. Wow. This is so cool. Finally coming to finish this game after the last time me playing this 10 years ago. Wow, well, maybe 8 years ago, probably. I don't know. The last time I properly played this was nearly 10 years ago. And to properly play through it again. Just amazing. Obviously, I played the PSP version, so the amount of content was the same, but the uh, sort of visual quality was lower. So probably actually was a more difficult to play on the PSP version than this one. That's besides the point. It's still the exact same game, the exact same feel, the exact same way it works. Right, I think this is a complete copy and paste onto a DVD of the PSP version. Or maybe the PSP version was just a copy and paste of this, just downgraded. I think it might have been that way around. Awesome. Getting a little bit of lag. Seems to be okay for now. Yeah, we're getting a lot of frame loss at the moment. But uh, for some reason, this PlayStation, I don't know whether they programmed it to have frame loss in mind. Whenever we're losing frames, it's not messing with our game that much. not mess with that game that much at all. Oh, careful. We've just hit 28 minutes. We're coming up to half an hour of just racing. And to be honest, for the uh, second half, our driving has been so much better. 
than before, so I will take it. I won't take that, though. That was a good recovery, though. I'll take that. I'll take that recovery. That was style. Also, these cars must be going 120 miles an hour down the road. There is no way that we are only just overtaking them at, like, 170. These have got to be some fast traffic cars. Awesome. Very nice there. The thing that I love about the PlayStation 2, though, is the... Um, the fact that you could link consoles. The fact that you could put an Ethernet cable between two PlayStations and they will communicate as if one is a server and one is a client. It's just amazing. Like, there is stuff that is clever about the PS2 that you would think back then, how on earth did they have it? Like, yes, sort of, the multiplayer stuff became standard in the next gen that you would create join servers and then now in xbox one you can create servers and host them on your xbox but like that is still impressive that in the year 2000 they had that as a feature they obviously changed it as the console went along but still to have it like that is just wow It's literally the smallest console I've ever seen as well. There we go, very good. Thanks, game. I should be saying thanks, brain, for messing me up. We are at the top end of the map, the top corner, and we've got like 15 miles to get back to the very middle south. How are we planning on doing that? I don't think this actually goes back to the start. It might not do. Because obviously it takes so long to render in the uh, map preview, like the race preview. Because like the longer the race is, the longer it takes to render it in. This, oh shit, that was impressive. Because old, old hardware cannot render in stuff that quick. I love the throatiness in that exhaust for this car. It's so true to the Koenigsegg. There is such a throaty roar in the Koenigsegg's exhaust. How they do it, I don't know, but it is amazing. Awesome. 1.5 miles before the checkpoint. Come on, where is it? Wow. Thank you. Lovely. To be fair, I didn't really see much like coastal. It wasn't as much coastal as I was expecting much coastal driving as I was expecting, but uh, yeah, 
you sort of come to realize that you don't really expect much from these games. 16.8 miles. Yeah, that final checkpoint is nothing, man. It's got to be nothing. Okay. That's uh, how cars react now. To bump. Lovely. There we go, squeezing our way through. There are no cars coming for us still. So hopefully we will never see them again. Oh, careful. Perfect. Be gone, stop. Go, 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 come on. Nice. That's good, that's good so far. 13.7 miles left to go. Look at this though. For the final race, to be able to see all of the best bits of the map. See the mountains in the distance, the sea, the beach, the road, the trees, all in one scene just looks so unbelievable. And yes, things render in magically, but what else do you expect from PS2? If you expect something amazing with this, you're not looking in the right place. At the end of the day, if a game feels good, I don't care. I've been playing so long, I've just gotten a power off message on my TV. Ah, I can't see. There we go. I still haven't worked out how to turn it off. I think it's just going to have to stay as part of, like, long recording sessions. Just, oh yeah, are you still there? Nope, of course not. Sarcasm unlocked. Very nice. Oh, come on. That's unbelievable. Imagine if I got overtaken now. Oh my god, that would destroy me. 36 minutes and then just meow. Pole taken away from me. That would destroy me. Without a shadow of a doubt. Five miles left for the second to last checkpoint. This is some speed now. Oh no, that traffic car. We avoided it, but uh, we were just going too fast to uh, actually avoid it. Or avoid it and keep the car under control, should I say. We're going a bit too quick for that. Five miles. Once we get to this checkpoint, it will be an accurate number to how far before the end of the game. At the next turn right. Turn right. Awesome. Also, if that wiki page was true, we're going to get ourselves a groovy house out of this. Because we're going to get all of them. And there's some groovy houses that you can buy in this. Mm. 
Nice. 2.1 miles before the checkpoint. We've got 38 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock right now. It can't be far away. Once we hit this checkpoint, it must be less than five miles. It must be. This is stunning though, look at this. This is like desert and beach. Here we go, checkpoint. How far is it? 20.1 miles. Ah! How? We were at like less than 20 on our meter when we started this race. And now 103 miles, less than 20, couldn't be much more than 125. We're going to 135. Ah, this game. That was weird, okay. I'm not complaining though. That gives me 18.4 miles as of now to enjoy this final stretch of the game. And the music as well. Can't forget the music. Got to enjoy that. Groovy. As much as I tried, the most used car in this entire series still was the Aston Martin DB9. Which is lovely. I didn't really want the DB9 to be my most used car. I wanted like some like Koenigsegg or Ferrari or something like that. Actually Ferrari wasn't in this game. I'm not swapping. I'm carrying on straight. I'm keeping on going straight no matter what. Okay, yeah, I think I've done something. Yeah, fuck me. Oof. I've done a big no-no. Where do I go? Okay, this way. <laughs> How did I... I was trying to be smart. I did a big no-no. Definitely not following the coast now, that's for sure. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my race. Because I definitely took a wrong way. Uh, not long left. 41 minutes on the clock so far. Ah, uh, keep it steady. Nice. 13 miles left. Look at that. Oh, we could have gone to the other side then. Why do we bother doing that? The game literally thought that was shorter. That is clearly a longer route. Ten miles left. It's the final countdown. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 the final countdown. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I still can't believe, right, this race has gotten us just from driving alone. 
over like 80,000 master points. That's just crazy. No way. Okay, there's no barrier here. We can get back on the road. That was pretty cool though. The amount of airtime we got through that. Unreal. This is it. What's the time now? Oh shit. It's only 10 past 3. Well. This is one of the shortest recording sessions of this game that I've done. But I'll take it. Five miles. Awesome. Four miles. I'm counting this down. Because this is something that needs to be counted down. Oh, look at that wall ride as well. Give me some points for that. Turn left. Turn left. Back at Pearl Harbor. Three miles left. Oh no! Come on! That was totally my fault. I was going way too fast. Two miles left to go. This is awesome. Hickam Village. Right. Look at that, 46 minutes, one mile left. This is it, we're coming to the finish. Nice. No, we went the wrong way. Right at the end, we messed up again. Unbelievable. You can see the finish. And it does finish where we started, coming to the airport. This is awesome. Coming to the finish again for the final time. Here we go. You've won all the houses on the island. Amazing. Let's see how long it takes for the rest of the cars to finish. Right, so all of the cars have finished. Uh, second place actually wasn't too far behind. Less than a minute behind, around about 40 seconds, 45 seconds. But then it was after that that it was very long. Uh, another three minute gap between second and third. And then just staggered after that. But 525,000 credits, we are at 2.4 million master points. Let's see if there's a cutscene. Your itinerary is being recalculated. What? No cutscene. Oh, I'm gutted. But we have got all of the houses and it is technically 100% completed. We've done every single race in the game. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button or check out the description for our merch link. We sell some pretty nice merchandise down there. Um, and also check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram and Discord. All of those down in the description. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did because I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.